Hi everyone, I'm Sergeant Bing Bong, and welcome to Call of Duty Mobile. I am playing it on my PC, and that means I am using an emulator, and I'm going to show you how you guys can do the same thing. Uh, so, you can just go to thegamelib.com, and you can click download right there. That part's awfully simple. Blah, blah, blah. And then you have Game Loop installed. Now, I have had a few questions regarding things like, do you need to make a Game Loop account and a login? And the answer is no, I, I haven't had to do that at all. Uh, then what you want to do is you want to go and find Call of Duty Mobile. Now, you should be able to find that up here on the popularities list. There's PUBG and, and whatnot as well. Then once you've downloaded that game, you'll be able to find it in your in your library each time. Yeah, and so simply click install and that'll begin running and downloading. Yes, and that might take a little bit of time depending on how fast your internet is. Yo, boy! Oh, it's all tangled. Ah, there we go. Um, and so you may need to log in with your Google account, and you also may need to log in with your your bloody Call of Duty account. Uh, that one's probably the most important, if you have progress, because you played on your phone or whatever, and now you're playing on an emulator. Make sure you got the right account. That's a, that's a pretty simple issue. Okay, there we go. And it auto-launched. So that was the emulator itself, that's giving you a mobile device. And now you actually have the game itself. So of course you have your banner up here at the top. Uh, yeah, the top. And that's maximize, of course, blah, 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 blah. These are just some of your emulator settings. And here you actually have on the far right, I'm going to show you this. These are just a brief description of your controls. All right, while we are discussing some of the, the loading screen options here, I'll actually show you some of your emulator settings. So if you click, whoopsie, okay, it did take us out there a little bit. So if you click just up there, you're going to see this bad boy, your gamepad. Now, you don't really want to mess with that. That's going to be if you're using controller. Uh, so we're going to flick for keyboard, and here you go. This is a bunch of your bloody keybinds. Now, the main rule that you're going to want to focus on is try not to mess with this at all. Now, if you do want to change your sensitivity, which is probably going to be the case, because it starts off, at least for me, it started off super high. Uh, you're going to first want to do that within your emulator, and then you can fiddle with it in-game, but mouse settings down here at the bottom here. I put it at about 31%. I found that that's pretty decent. Uh... Maybe you want to start there and then you can play around for yourself, but there you go. That's where you can change your, your sensitivity. You can also change it in game, but I'd change it here first. Yes, and now you're not actually ready to go straight off the get-go. Something that I do just want to bring up is the downloads. So although you have the game running, you actually don't have all of the content. So go to the downloads manager, which I'll just show you again. is down here, at least when you're in multiplayer. When you're on the home screen, it's located here. And you just want to probably download as much of this as you wish. But mainly you're going to be looking for, for maps here. And maybe resource packs if you want to have a better looking game. But maps specifically, not all of them are downloaded. So there are heaps of matches. Like, like heaps of maps. Heaps. And you just want to download as many of these as you want. Now, a wee little pro tip here is, if there are any likes... Sorry, if there are any maps that you particularly dislike, don't download them. And you'll never have to play them. Anywho. Now, when you are downloading everything for the first time, that may affect your frame rate ever so slightly. That is something I tell people to bear in mind. Um, and so if you are having really lowered frame rate, that's one of the things that it might be doing. Now, that's usually something that people suffer with on their first time launching the game. And so I want, do want to show you a few things. So let's go to base, uh, sorry, audio and graphics here. And there's actually a frame rate setting. You want to put that on ultra. You want to put that on max. You want to put that as high as you literally can. Frame rate is is the main thing that you're going to want here, mate. You need to change that straight away. I'm not sure why that's not defaulted. Oh, the other issue that I see people run into very quickly in this game is the aiming thing. So Call of Duty Mobile has a few different things. So for example, of course, when you're playing on a, on a little mobile device, it's hard to, to aim in and aim out and shoot. And so they have some automatic mechanics. For example, uh, automatically firing when you're hovering over an enemy. That's not something you're going to want to have. If you're playing on PC, you don't need that. And so you want to replicate these settings that you have on screen here. Advanced mode and hip fire. That's going to be the most normal thing that you're used to, which is, you know, you run around, you click when you want to aim, and you click when you want to shoot. Every other setting is a little bit weird. You do have to edit this uh, separately for multiplayer, for battle royale, and for zombies. So something to bear in mind. Uh, and for anyone who did want to edit their settings, sorry, their sensitivity within the game, this is the tab to do so. Uh, but... Like I said, my advice is edit it in your emulator first. Yes, now some people did actually ask me about this thing up here. Your device has an external thing connected, blah, 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 blah. Don't worry about it. It's it's absolutely fine. 
and that for the most part is how you get going in this game. Uh, if you've had any issues with this game, please do just check the comment section. You never know, maybe someone else had the same issue and I was able to help them in the comments or someone else was. Yeah, and if you if you can't find your particular issue, just, just write it in the comments and we'll see what we can do. If it is something I've encountered before and I forgot to cover in this video, I'll leave a comment or, or pin it or something. Thank <laughs> you.